<sighs> another day, another Pokemon-y. Good morning. Let's do good again today. Is this the place where that team named Go-Getters is based? There's nothing here. Depressing, isn't it? Heh! <laughs> Who'd run a rescue team from a dump like this? Unbelievable! Who are you people? Oh! Over there! A mailbox! <laughs> yeah! Check it out! Now wait a second! What do you think you're doing? Yes! Rescue job offers! Oh la la! Isn't that rather tasty? We'll have them all! Stop! Those are meant for us! Don't butt in! <laughs> it doesn't matter who does it! We're a rescue team too, I'll have you know. But all we ever get up to is no good. Wanna know how it works? If we have the cover of a rescue team, we can get away with so much more. We have our eyes on world domination. What? World domination? <laughs> you heard right. That's why we're raking in the cash and adding to our gang. The world will be ours. The rescue team of evil, Team Meanies is who we are. See you around. <laughs> now wait a second! They took off. What an unbelievable bunch. Oh no! It is empty! They took everything! We're in luck! Pelipper delivered some mail! We can go on rescue missions again with this. But those guys, they better not try anything if we see them again. Well, let's see what we got. Only one today, huh? Let's try and make the most of it, Mudkip. Here's hoping today is a bit brighter than yesterday. Good morning, Cyndaquil. Let's do good again today. Cyndaquil! Mudkip! Huh? Who is that? Oh, Caterpie! How have you been? Please! Please help my friend! What's the matter? I was playing with my friend Metapod! But Metapod got lost in the woods! He's still lost out there! Oh, I see, I see. That does sound bad. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Have no fear. We're here to save your chum, Metapod. Hold on. Kara came to us for help. <laughs> you think you can do this rescue with your amateur level skills? What did you say? It doesn't matter who does the rescuing, see? The guy that does the rescuing gets to be the hero. Listen, Caterpie, how about we do this? How about you give the reward to the team that brings back your chum first? But... I... I don't have any money. Oh, don't you worry about that, my little friend. I'm sure we can persuade your parents to reward us with interest afterward. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can even join our team. There's an offer you can't refuse. When you join us, Caterpie, we'll let you be a big wheel in Team Meanies. <laughs> That's the deal, Mudkip. The first to rescue wins. Come on, move! Let's get this done already. Don't worry, we'll save your friend first. Cyndaquil, let's get going. We won't let you down, Caterpie. We're gonna beat Team Meanies to the punch and find Metapod safe and sound.
This must be it. Metapod is lost somewhere in these woods. Gengar's gang should be in there already. We need to hurry. This mission felt a lot more drastic than our previous ones, but for all of the wrong reasons. Not only were we trying to rescue a missing Pokemon, but we were racing against another rescue team who was trying to complete the task for their own evil intentions. That Gengar. They don't deserve the title of rescue team. Why would they even call themselves one? I mean, their team name is Team Meanies for Pelipper's sake, and they aren't exactly subtle about their intentions. So why do they still refer to themselves as a rescue team? Is it because the title opens doors for them? Is it to trick naive Pokemon into thinking their intentions are pure? I don't know. How could they even act like that? This world is falling apart, and so many Pokemon are scared and in distress. And they want to take advantage of the situation and achieve world domination? How selfish can you possibly get? I just can't comprehend a Pokemon being so vicious and evil. Even Skarmory wasn't that cruel. Yeah, they kidnapped Diglett, but that was due to the misinformation and overall agitation of the situation they were in. I can't remember much about being a human and what the Pokemon were like in that world. But it just feels wrong to think of any Pokemon to be pure evil. So what's with it? Why would Gengar act like this? I don't know. I guess it isn't my problem. I just wish that they would stop messing with us. It's not like we even did anything to them. We were just trying to do good in the world and help the Pokemon in need. That's what all of us should be doing. <sighs> I just wish we could all be kind to one another. Is that a ridiculous dream to have? Perhaps. But then again, we're trying to put an end to natural disasters. You'd think that would be the impossible task. But if we could overcome that, maybe we could trigger a change of heart in Gengar too. But before we do that, we've got to rescue Metapod. Wow, we came quite a ways into this forest. I wonder if Metapod is ahead. Hold it right there. <laughs> you know who's gonna get to Metapod first? We are! So, for you to go ahead, well, we can't let that happen. Well, what? Hey, Gengar! Why do you always mess with us? Oh, didn't we tell you? Our aim is world domination! Caterpie's mama will give us a generous reward. And Caterpie will join us too. That brings us closer to our goal. <laughs> and for that, your lot is in the way. So sorry to say, but your party's over right here and now. Say goodbye, Mudkip. We had no other choice. We had to fight Gengar and his team. Thankfully it wasn't even match since we had Magnemite with us now. They were incredibly useful in the way getting up here, and they were going to be useful in getting through this fight as well. Magnemite was a steel type as well as an electric type, so they resisted a lot of Gengar's attacks. But they had a lot of weird ones on their side, stuff like Protect and Curse. It wasn't an easy fight but we just used our own individual strengths and covered each other's weaknesses. And soon enough, things started to get better. It was odd, actually. Gengar was the first to go down. You'd think as the leader that he would be the last one standing. But it seems he wasn't all that strong after all. So why is it that these two look up to him as a leader? Maybe he always used them as a meat shield? And we just got lucky? I have no idea, really. But that's the least of my concerns right now. All that matters now is getting through this fight and rescuing Metapod before they could do anything to harm Caterpie or any other Pokemon. We'll let them know what Team Go-Getters, a real rescue team, is all about. Ow, 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 ow! You'll pay for this! Don't you forget it! Hmm. 
No one should hold us back now. Let's find Metapod. Um, excuse me? Did you maybe come looking for me? You must be Metapod. Let's get you home. Caterpie was worried about you. Yay! I was so scared, so I kept my shell hardened and waited and waited. Thank you! This is great! Welcome back, Metapod! Thank you, Caterpie! And thank you, Mudkip and Cyndaquil! But I don't have any money. Oh no, no. We don't need a reward. We're happy to see that Metapod is back safe and sound. Oh, you're even more cool than I thought! I want to go on rescues when I grow up! <laughs> that would be great! Chase that dream. I have an idea. Shinequil, we should do something with this place. We should make a proper rescue team base here. Something impressive. That's cool! A rescue team base is cool! I want to work here when I grow up! Me too! Me too! Haha, <laughs> that's what we'll do. Let's work hard and build our own rescue team base. Cyndaquil, Mudkip, thank you again. Okay, bye. Be careful going home. <sighs> well, we ended up working for free, but that was the right thing to do. And we got to show Gengar's team a thing or two. So it's all good. That was a tiring day. Let's do some more good work tomorrow. See you!